having some regulations about energy efficiency is totally the right thing. We all live on one planet. We want to have a level playing field over Europe. We have the overarching uh, uh, target for climate neutrality. And then one of the major ingredients is energy efficiency. The energy efficiency directive, as far as it re relates to the data centre industry in the EU, in the near term is all about reporting. So it's all about reporting on some, some key metrics so that regulation can start to shape what are the energy efficiency targets around those metrics that can ensure that the data centre industry is climate neutral by 2030. If you look at an enterprise data centre of around 500 kilowatts, if we were able to reduce that enterprise data centre's PUE from a 2 to let's say a 1.4, we could be saving 16 terawatt hours per year. And even if you look at a smaller data centre of about 100 kilowatts, um, you could be looking at saving about 5 terawatt hours per year. And to just kind of give a bit of colour to that, that's how much power that you would need for all the households in a city, for example, the size of Hamburg. At enterprise level, what we're going to see is more and more companies and hopefully public bodies outsourcing their workloads to the cloud, which is great because, of course, cloud data centres are so much more efficient than on-premises. And with AI, a combination of the environments that are within these cloud data centres, using AI as well, will again accelerate change in people's lives and accelerate the benefits of the planet. There is a common understanding now uh, that the ICT sector should play its role in, in, in a green economy. Now, this means two things, of course. It's what the, the digital uh, brings in terms of leverage, of, of green benefits, climate action, etc. But it's also on how the sector can become greener. One of the most recent surveys that we've conducted has shown that um, enterprise data centres, especially older ones, are running at a PUE of around two or more. Um, newer co-location um, enterprise data centres are at around 1.5, a PUE of 1.5, and cloud enterprise data centres are around 1.4 or less. With regard to data centres, uh, we of course want to start with a reporting scheme, right, uh, May 2024. And then the idea is that we have one year to prepare a report uh, in which we assess the reported data uh, and we propose, if necessary, further steps, which could include a labelling scheme or minimum performance standards for data centres. If we think about the EU says the ICT sector will have seven times less emissions or it will reduce emissions by seven times what it emits and digitization will reduce greenhouse emissions by 15 percent. That's only achievable if the large countries apply to that. How it is transposed by the member states is, is the key and we don't know how member states will transpose. If you look at the regulation there's three main things. There's a mandatory energy reuse factor of 20 percent that data centers from 2026 have to hold. The second thing is there's a large uh, emphasis on a PUE factor of 1.2 from 2026 for new data centers. The third most important thing is probably the defining rules for the um, data centers, which for the first time are reg regulated in Germany. So we are very keen on um, getting more information due to the reporting obligations uh, to understand the market better and to have a better basis um, for further analysis and discussions with the, with the industry. With the Energy Efficiency Act, we opted for a more ambitious transposition because um, we see the fast pace in which the industry is evolving at the moment with huge growth rates, which means that more and more energy is used in the industry and at the same time that investment decisions are made now on where the data centers are located and uh, with which efficiency they are built. So we think it's high time now um, to set um, the frame for these decisions um, via legislation. Did the EU miss a chance by having reporting threshold at 500 kilowatts rather than 100 kilowatts? The answer is yes. But as the Commission will tell you, that was largely driven by input from the member states. And why they missed the chance is because smaller data centres are the most inefficient. Green energy is not infinite. Um, there's a limited amount of green energy within a specific city or a specific um, country and there's competing people for it. It's not there just purely for data centres to use. 
Um, and that's why it's important to look at efficiency within a data centre. It's important to look at, you know, how efficiently are we cooling it? Um, and that's when PUE comes in. Um, and it's even going to be more important, I believe, in the future when we look at AI workloads and how energy intensive they are and how we can cool those in the most efficient and sustainable way. It's for smart home controls to save energy, uh, cars and traffic control to save energy. It is for citizens to go to the government instead of driving there. You can do stuff online. The key point to note around this journey that we're going on relative to legislation is that there is very strong collaboration within the industry, incredible collaboration. And there is also a really healthy dialogue going on with Brussels and Brussels are determined to help the member states transpose.